Um, in this lesson, we are going to uh, generate models for settings, posts, and comments. Okay, so um, to do that, we can say Rails uh, generate model uh, setting uh, singular. So we put in site name as a string. And by the way, uh, the different types of um, the columns are here. So the types are we have strings, text, um, there's a primary key. So we've used string and um, we've used text and integer and we've used boolean. Okay, so, but there are those others here. All right, um, so site name is um, string. And what other columns do we have? Uh, we have post per page. So post per page would be uh, integer. So we could decide if we want to display 10 posts per page or 20 or 30 or whatever we want. We have um, an under maintenance. So this way we could decide to put the blog under maintenance and um, no visitor can see anything. So we have, you know, massive power. So I've prevent commenting. We can also stop um, comments from being left. So now we have tag visibility, which is also boolean. Okay. So enter, and this will um, create two files: migration file. So here we have. Um, just close this. Here we have the migration file for create um, setting. Okay, so it's just a class. Um, we haven't actually created the tables yet. We just generated the code that will create the table for us. So I will explain all this. Um, so this is uh, an extended, so the settings is the parameter and this is a block, a block we're yielding to. I will go into more details once we've generated all the models we need to uh, to generate. So this is the timestamp, the created ads, updated ads, field in a database. So here we have the schema. So this schema will only update once we've run rake db migrate. So it shows us a snapshot of our database. All right. Um, now we. Uh, we can go ahead and do, um, uh, just check this for now. If we reset this page, we'll see that we have um, an error. So it's basically telling us that we have migrations pending. We need to run DB migrate. So Rails is helping us make sure that we are always up to date. So we say rake DB migrate and enter. So this will take our model our migration and create the actual database for us. And now our schema has updated to match our database um, tables. All right, so if we um, if we go into our SQLite Studio, right click and refresh all our um, database schema, we have settings there, okay? So now settings has appeared. So that's generally how everything works. We uh, create a, a migration file, which basically ready to run. We run it and it creates a database for us and we have a, a empty database here. All right, so we've done settings. Uh, we can go ahead and um, create the model for post. By the way, now that we've um, done DB migrate, everything should come back to normal. All right, so if we go back into the terminal, command line, say rails generate model post. Um, we have title, content and publish. So title is type string, content is a type text, uh, publish is a true or false, so it's type um, boolean. And is there anything else? We have moderator. So every post belongs to a moderator. So we say moderator uh, references. Okay, so that's how that is done. If we go into um, our guides for Rails and search um, 
generate models so this is a the usual normal one Just keep searching so down here there's an example for um, references so we have comment as a string but it's text and article references so this is how you uh, state that a model um, record belongs to a post belongs to moderator enter and that gives us a migration file for posts and references so this is the the difference between what we've done so far okay so that's the references um, line okay so we can say rake db migrate so this will create our table and I can clear this uh, we have uh, comments comments model so rails generate comment and we have message okay so I say message as a type text and status as boolean and we have references for post and visitor okay so this means that every comment belongs to a post and that same comment also belongs to a visitor okay so that's it um, enter and we have to do a rake db migrate to create the actual tables in our database and clear this and make sure that everything is still fine okay and if we um, come in here we have a few models um, created for us and our schema a snapshot of what our database looks like is fine and if I come here and I right click I refresh all database schemas nothing happened let's try again if in doubt try nothing happens sometimes this happens I usually just close SQL Lite Studio and open up again as time goes on you wouldn't actually need to use this SQL Lite um, a lot you can do everything on Rails console but this is good as a startup to actually see the the database that you're working on and basically it's nice okay so um, fiddle around so that's the reference there post underscore ID so you notice this is post not posts so it's singular so that's the way it's supposed to be we're using workbench just as a reference for visual purposes okay so that's it for this lesson I'll see you in the next lesson